because I want to be the representative of female researchers and lecturers to educate and inspire young generation of female students in Cambodia. The number of female students is increasing year by year at ITC, and especially in my department. I want to show them that even though it is challenging for me, a woman can do research related to sustainable energy. My ultimate goal for a sustainable future for Asian is to create energy without depending on fossil fuel. My research so far is to produce renewable energy from the organic waste by focusing mainly on investigating the effect of heat alkaline treatment on biogas production from excess sludge. One of the key issues affecting developing countries, particularly in the fast-growing cities, is a rapid increase in the amount of municipal solid waste. According to JICA in 2005, the forecasting of solid waste generated from all sources is expected to increase from 1,227 towns per day in 2013 to 3,046 towns per day in 2030 in Cambodia, and organic waste from household, hotel, restaurant, and market account for approximately 72% of total composition of solid waste disposed at the dam site. The production of the energy from organic waste by an efficient system may contribute to reduce energy use and create energy. Now, I plan to investigate the effect of alkaline on biogas production from kitchen waste and food waste in Cambodia. Besides doing research, I also deliver several lectures including general microbiology, biotechnology, and food processing. Moreover, I supervise students every year during their internship for graduation, and I currently advise 14 female students. Besides my three roles as researcher, lecturer, and advisor at school, I need to take care of my three kids and also do housework as well. Every day, I have to get up early to prepare their breakfast I have to go to market, I have to prepare lunch and dinner and feed them. Actually, it is very hard tough for me, but it's my responsibility and I'm happy to do it for my kids, my future and the future of my countries. Winning this prize would mean a lot to me as it encourages not only myself but also other women scientists to continue pursuing STEM careers. In addition, I expect to collaborate with other women scientists in Asian countries on future projects. Together, we could solve complex energy issues in Asia and inspire the next generation of women scientists. This is a true story of me as a woman scientist and a mother. Thank you for watching.